Alright guys, it's one random and welcome to Lily's Well. Another game I found and decided to give a chance. Um, this one has horror under its title, so I don't really know what to expect. But I know that that's the, the, the music in the intro things. I was sitting here listening to that uh, title screen music for like a minute or two while I was like configuring all my settings and stuff, and it was on like full volume, and I was just like headbanging to it. It is a cold, rainy day in the Tabachi household. You are Lily. Lily is a young, innocent girl, nine years of age. You live in a modest home with your papa. On this cold and rainy day, you are knitting on the couch while papa packs his things. Tonight, he needs to go to work in order to teach a night class. As Lily is a good child, papa trusts you to stay safe while he is gone. Before he leaves, papa makes hot dogs and the boxed mac and cheese. He helps you pour the cheese sauce on your hot dog in order to make it taste better. You enjoy your meal together. Bob puts you to bed with the sounds of rain lulling you to sleep. Someone help? Eyes. You awaken to the sound of a voice. Lily. The voice seems to come from outside. You look out you look out your bedside window. Nobody. There's nobody among the rain and darkness. Was it a dream? You open your window a crack to listen closer. Please. It hurts. Help. The well. Someone is in the well. The rope normally hanging from it has vanished. You are a good girl, so you get out of bed to go help. Read instructions? For sure. Oh, I think these are my controls. Use the arrow keys to move Lily around. Lily can also move by clicking on a desired location. So I can either move or I can click. Touchscreen users can additionally move. Oh, so this is for like iPad too, huh? Oh, I just totally skipped through all that. Use an item, open up the menu screen with escape or X. On the menu screen, select the stuff option to access. Collect items by selecting an item and using it on the leash. It will use it. It must be right in front of the item's target in order to use it. Some items have multiple places they can be used, so don't be afraid to get creative. There are four different types of items. Stuff, ropes, keys, and files. Stuff makes up normal, normal items that can be used to interact with objects outside of the menu. These often have more than one use, so it is recommended to pull to play around with the item if it is stuck. Ropes are on the main goal to work towards. These are, these items are what Lily needs to climb down the well. The more obtained, the further down she can get. It is important to note that not all ropes are good materials. Once a rope is collected, it cannot be put back until Lily climbs down the well. Keys are keys. They open up certain doors and can be used infinitely in any playthrough. Finally, files are notes, letters, books. They're really anything that can be read, just like these instructions. Even if not directly taken, any file read during the playthrough can be reread from the file selection for ease of access. Got you. Instructions can be viewed at any time. Got it. Oh. Oh, it's not the. I don't know if I like. Oh, it's your bed. A movie that, you remember a movie that Papa brought back one weekend where prisoners use sheets to escape from prison. Take the sheets as a rope? Uh, sure. I took the sheets. Lamp. Take a lamp. It needs to be plugged in if you want it to be more. Oh. Your knitting basket gives you comfort, despite the stormy weather. Unraveled into a long rope. Take the ball as a rope? Sure. This is your wardrobe. You can't open it right now, but maybe you'll be able to someday. Yikes. Nice. The shower is still wet from your earlier bath. Even if you stood on the edge of the tub, you wouldn't be able to reach the curtain soaks. Trying too hard at this would probably result in you cracking your head open inside the tub. You have no concept of what in the yard is, so you'd be out of luck if that happened. Rip. This is the bathroom sink. Preventer of disease spread and assistant to teeth cleaning. Behold, the toilet. The bowl has always been a hard-working part of the household. Even at that time, you made potions in it, causing laundry soap bubbles to completely fill the bathroom. It also never clogged. Even when you put on put one end of a yarn ball down it and watch the entire ball disappear in the water. Truly, the most sacred appliance to be created. Can I take the toilet? Private potty can't be taken. Look inside the toilet? Sure. What's in the toilet? 
Well, you just wasted your time looking inside the toilet bowl, gross. <laughs> Even though the commode is kept very clean. Well, that's what the game is supposed to be. This game is supposed to be scary, not funny. To save money, this toilet paper is single ply. This is also known as the worst type of toilet paper. <laughs> Can I take this as rope? Yeah. Do I just, do I just go around and take everything from rope? I have four pieces of rope material. Cool. How many do I need? Trash can. It's empty. Rip. Take. You need to come across a sea turtle that needs to suffocate. You can come back for this. Bird. A book. Yes. Um, let's read the introduction. Magus Bergamot, or is it Bethany's Mirror? I spent my years studying the various unique plants that only grow in this pocket of the world. Many of these plants take on unique and unexpected roles in their ecosystems, as well as provide plenty of uses for local foragers. Like with any plant or fungal life, it is important to properly identify anything you are foraging. Failure to do so can lead to extreme injury or death. It is additionally important to not non-violate. Is it, is it, it is additionally important to not violate anyone's personal territory while foraging. An angry resident of Bethany's Mirror is far worse than any moose. With all of that out of the way, let's take a look at the most common specimens you will find in this area. Uh, trees. The majority of the trees found in Bethany's Mirror are the same as those in the surrounding areas. Plenty of oak, maple, and pine to go around. And the most common of the areas is more unusual trees is the nymph mim mimic. It will appear as a normal birch tree, but a, this is a soulless tree. These trees seem to form from the souls of women who get lost in the woods, or have their corpses dumped in the woods after being killed. Their souls leave an imprint on of sorts on a, on a tree in Bethany's mirror, causing it to swell with the body's shape. The sap from these protrusions can be harvested and made into nymph syrup. Keep reading? Uh, sure. Another commonly seen tree that's exclusive to this area is the tomb tree. While harmless toward humanoids in most cases, this tree can pose a risk to small children and pets. The tomb tree appears as a dead and hollow oak tree, usually in the center of a clearing. While most small animals that come across it may be interested in making a home out of the trees, many tunnels, this is actually a trap. Thanks to the tomb tree's lack of leaves, it instead gains nutrients by digesting the animals that get stuck in the tar, like sap it secretes inside the tunnels. The death of these animals is slow and full of suffering. Instead of dying out of their flesh being digested, they often die of dehydration or starvation first. If something or someone you care about gets stuck in this tree sap, common store-bought dish soap is enough to disconnect skin from the sap. Rib. I don't, I don't even know if I want to keep reading, but I feel like it's warning me for the future. This isn't the time to watch movies. It's my bedroom. Yeah. First three digits. Second digits? Zero, 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 zero. Papa said you should never call numbers you don't know. Drawings are all over the 
garbage, a, a key! She required extra help regarding the pig farm. She is personally doing well and has asked about you and Lily. Mother is especially curious about your progress on your research project. When Mother heard that you were pursuing her specialty, she was delighted to see how you would do. Please write to her and possibly send samples. I only expect to stay on the farm for the next year or so before returning to Maine. With your permission, I'd like to visit your home on the way. Thank you for your time. Vic. Alrighty, Mr. Vic. Alright, so I'm done moving this thing, I think. I didn't make it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's a long way down. <laughs> Was it because I tried to construct my rope out of toilet paper? As you feel, you were lucky to land head first, killing you instantly. Your body lays in the contorted in a natural state as it waits for the maggots to settle in. Oh wow. Dead end. Bad craftsmanship. I'm guessing I built the rope wrong. Hmm. <laughs> Their speed penalty is too much. Well. Well. That was my first try in the lily as well. If you would like to see more. Please request it in the comments below, and I might just try this game again. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.